Welcome to Bunny Love TV. Monique Slaughter of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood explains why she doesn't go to her son's games. Let's talk about this, you guys. Let's get into the story. The Love and Hip Hop Hollywood reunion became explosive when April Jones and Lil Fizz began discussing their relationship. Monique was not accepting any disrespect from her child's father and his girlfriend. The segment began with a series of clips that seemed to place blame on B2K's tour being cut short on April's shoulders. Lil Fizz was warned by Jay Boog that the only way to clear the air with Omarion, the father of April's children, was to make things clear. Both April and Fizz clarified the status of their relationship during the show's season and on the reunion's episode. Such was not enough. Though, to keep the celebrities out of the hot seat as Monique shared her thoughts on the matter. I don't care what they're doing, the Love and Hip Hop Hollywood star said. That's the point, Monique added. I don't give a fuck. It's when there's a kid in the mix. There's a kid in the mix. That's what I care about. April Jones and Lil Fizz attempted to convince viewers that Monique was lying and that she did, in fact, care about the status of their relationship. She hasn't been to a game in I don't know how long, Fizz said. Right, April affirmed, I show up. So basically, April's trying to get everybody to believe that she's the mother now. She's playing mommy and Moniz doesn't give a fuck about her child with little Fizz, which I think is some bullshit. Okay, so moving on. Moniz did not let such a notion pass without providing an explanation for why she does not attend her son Kamarion's games. I personally am not showing up anywhere because I come to Kamarion's games alone, she declared. I come to Cam's games alone, Monice reiterated. The celebrity mom went on to tell Fizz in April, I don't know what the fuck I'm walking into on any given goddamn day. I've been to jail for cracking a bitch's sternum and fracturing her cheekbone. I'm not going back, so I'll just sit at home. The status of April Jones and Lil Fizz as a couple has come with much scrutiny this year. Some criticize the celebrities for being in a relationship when April and Omarion have children together and Lil Fizz is part of the group B2K, of which Omarion is also a member. Even still, with the criticism, April and Fizz remain devoted to one another. We don't live our lives for the people, Jones declared on the reunion episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Let me just say, that's a lie. April Jones is lying. If she really doesn't live for the people, then she would not respond back to the naysayers and everybody that has had an opinion about her relationship with Little Fizz on social media. She has gone live on Instagram. She has responded back to people's comments, explaining her life away. If you don't live for the people, young lady, you wouldn't even bother to respond to people's reaction to your nasty relationship with Lil Fizz. And now she's fucking around with that guy, FBG Baby Goat. And I'm almost positive that once she starts to get a whiff of the negative reactions about that, she's going to try to explain that too. She's probably already has, but I just haven't found out about it. Once I do, trust me, I'll do another video on this because this is a very interesting subject. I mean, this young lady um, has proven Omarion's mother correct. Omarion's mom, Miss Leslie, called this from the very beginning of love and hip hop Hollywood when it first got started. She, she knew it. She knew that April Jones was a hoe pretty much. And she let her son know. And I guess at that time, he just didn't want to hear all that. He was with her. That was the mother of his children. And he just went on ahead and rolled with it. But as time progressed, he's beginning to see that mama was right. Mama didn't tell him no lies. She told him the absolute truth. His baby's mother is a whore. But overall, uh, I do think that April Jones is lying about the fact that she doesn't care about what people think. Oh, she cares because she talks about it all the time on social media. She lets everybody know that they need to mind their business. They need to shut the fuck up. Just let them do what they do. And at the reunion, I do truly believe that April Jones was trying to use the fact that Moniz does not come to her son's games as a way to twist the knife and really piss her off even more than she's probably already pissed off. I thought that was a low blow 
And to an extent, I can kind of understand why Moni Slaughter uh, does what she does as far as not coming to the games. I mean, somebody on the outside looking in would probably be like, well, you know, that's really bad. That's fucked up that she's not showing up to her son's games. However, I do kind of get where she's coming from, too. She's not trying to cause any more trouble or bring any more drama to the situation. She feels like if she shows up to the games that there may be some type of issue and she may end up having to put her hand on April Jones so to keep from having to do that she just does not go and that is totally understandable I mean like I I get it I mean she's really trying to keep down the confusion and the drama it's just seems like Lil Fizz and April Jones try to make Moni Slaughter look like a bad parent every chance that they get and I, I just don't think that they've treated her right throughout every single season of love and hip hop Moniece has not been treated right I feel like Lil Fizz has always kind of treated her bad um I guess he feels like she's not enough of a mom to the their child but I just really think that's some BS that's still the mother of your child and you really don't have to treat her like that or talk to her any kind of way She's trying to deal with this situation the best way that she can. I, I think that staying away when it comes to certain things is therapeutic for her. I'm not saying that it's not unfair to the child. I'm sure the child feels some type of way that mommy doesn't show up to the games, but look at the mess that his uh, father and April Jones have created. If that's the best way that she knows how to control her emotions is to stay away and just keep um, clear of everything that's going on to d better deal with the situation and not add any more frustration to it, then so be it. This picture right here indicates that she is somewhat involved with their child. And I really don't think it's fair that Lil Fizz and April Jones tried to make her look like an unfit parent. Nobody really knows the story, but them, nobody really has every detail of what goes on behind closed doors as far as how she parents but I don't think she's that bad of a parent I mean come on they really try to make her look like shit and it's not right so at the end of the day um April Jones and Lil Fizz just need to back off of Moniece leave her alone leave her alone whether or not she cares about those two uh, in a relationship it shouldn't even matter She's moved on now anyway. April Jones has moved on to the FBG baby goat. She's moved. Well, at least that's the way it seems. Um, some people don't think she did. Some people think that she's um, just, it was just a little friendly hug and a kiss, you know, between two friends at an outing. I don't think so. I mean, I, I, there's just people out here that take up for April Jones and would say something like that. April Jones actually does have supporters based off of what's been going on. You would think she wouldn't, but she does. Um, but no, that was not a friendly thing. Not to me, it, it, from what I could see, it doesn't look friendly between her and FBG baby goat. I think that they have something going on. So she's moved on from Lil Fizz to FBG baby goat, I guess. I don't know. I, maybe they're still together after that uh, picture surfaced and, and floated all over the internet uh, between her and FBG baby goat. Or maybe not, or maybe Fizz just figures, I'm going to go ahead and just leave her alone, but I highly doubt it. Who knows? It, it, it Whatever. It, it'll come out eventually soon, whether or not he's still dealing with uh, April Jones behind this, this new information with her and FBG Baby Goat. Um, it's what he gets. It serves him right. I mean, he was literally online picking at Omarion about the fact that he was dealing with his baby's mother. So you're going to stoop that low and pick at him like that. Then you deserve everything you get. You deserve the embarrassment of April Jones messing around with FBG baby goat. That's what the hell you get. All right, you guys. So that's my time. I'm out of here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Please drop your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, do you think that Moni Slaughter is doing the right thing by staying away from her son's games? Do you think that she should attend regardless of what's going on between Lil Fizz and April Jones? Moniece claims that she's doing this. She's staying away from the, her son's games because she's trying to keep her cool. That's her way of being uh, dealing with the situation. It's therapeutic for her. It's the best way that she can handle it. Um, some say she should just override that and show up at the child's games anyway because um, it can be uh, hard on the child because maybe the child wants her to be there. All right. 
Follow me on all social media platforms. The end of this video will have just where you can find me on the net, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube. Here, of course, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, please come back for more celebrity gossip talk, reality show reviews, celebrity news flash, and current news right here on this channel. Peace and blessings, folks. Take care. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Enjoy. It's all love. Don't forget to add the underscore when adding me on Instagram.